टुडे आवर टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज जनरल टॉपिक फ्रॉम सिलेंट्रेटा पॉलीमोर्फिजम फ्रॉम द सेम पेपर जुलॉजी पेपर फर्स्ट एनिमल सिस्टमैटिक एंड डायवर्सिटी फिफ फ्रॉम दिस पॉलीमोर्फिजम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी डेफिनेशन इन ग्रीक वर्ड पॉली मीन्स मेनी एंड मॉर्फी मीन्स फॉर्म मीन्स देर इज ऑकरन्स ऑफ मोर दैन वन टाइप ऑफ इंडिव्यूजल्स इन द सेम स्पेसिज इज कॉल्ड एज पॉलीमोर्फिजम वेर देर इज डिविजन ऑफ लेबर और वर्क इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड for numerous forms or number of individuals work is distributed and hence the polymorphism means occurrence of number of individuals which are structurally and functionally different but though they include in the same species and forms a colony or forms a number of individuals living together to work in a individual this occurrence in the same species of more than one type of individual which differ in form and function thus there there is the division of labor and this polymorphism is characteristic phenomenon which is found in this uh, silentrata this polymorphism shows main two basic forms or two basic zoids zoids or they are also called as individuals there are two basic forms or two basic zoids found in polymorphism the first is the polyp and second is the medusa polyp are sessile individuals these animals live in water attached with any material whether it may be stone or leaves or debris material they attach with their pedal disc or basal disc with the help of attachment this one end of the body which is blind attach continuously hence they are also called as sessile or sedentary another end is free this free end move with their tentacles these are tentacles surrounding the mouth mouth is useful for feeding these tentacles help to guard the or to move the food particles towards the mouth hence the need of feeding is help with the help of these tentacles thus they are called as feeding individuals or they are also called as gastrozoids means they helps the purpose of colony for feeding only means they are also called as gastrozoids they are also help for colony for the feeding also they have tentacles tentacles are useful for protection they also shows a sexual type of budding means a sexual reproduction is also help with this uh, polyp means the polyp which are sessile shows or concern with three main functions that is feeding or nutrition then second is protection with the help of these tentacles and third the bud may be formed and thus they shows the asexual type of reproduction these polyps which continuously attach with the pedal disc or basal disc this blind end blind end always attach to the substratum inside the water cavity and this another end which is free with mouth and tentacles and hence they are called as the feeding polyp they are mostly you have to remember that they are sessile and helpful for feeding protection and a sexual type of reproduction second type of zoid basic second type of zoid in the silentrate animal is the medusa 
they are having tubular body but here medusa is having bowl shape body or they having umbrella shape body umbrella shape body here upper end which is convex and ventral end which is concave which shows mouth surrounding a thin membranous membrane called as the manubrium here ventral side or the end which is concave shows marginal tentacles and larger tentacles surrounding the mouth which is surrounding the mouth they are larger and marginal tentacles are smaller this medusa is freely live here and there in the water cavity hence they are called as free living or swimming they are attached to the substratum but they are free medusa are free and polyp are sessile this medusa they are concerned with sexual type of reproduction because they shows the they reproduce the gametes or gonads that is the sperms and ova or egg and hence they reproduce sexually hence they are called as sexual reproduction they are concerned with sexual reproduction internally they shows gastrovascular cavity here there is the presence of gonads or the gametocytes present these two are the basic forms or basic zoids of the cilentrate besides these in cilentrate the polymorphism which shows division of labor or the work is divided for the colony some of them are feeding some of them protect some of them having sensory cells some of them having chitinous projections which help for protection some of them having uh, nematocyst which secrete toxic fluid for protection from the enemies and hence there is division of labor found in this polymorphism of cilentrate first of all we will see in the cilentrata class three uh, cilentrata phylum three classes first the hydrozoa second scyphozoa and third the anthozoa here in hydrozoa hydra and obelia having limited uh, type of uh, polymorphic forms but scyphozoa and anthozoa shows numerous polymorphic individuals or zoids first point we will see here modification of polyp polyp shows mainly feeding protection and asexual reproduction here the mouth surrounding the tentacles these are the tentacles this is the mouth this is the polyp stage which is attached to the colony here this is the obelia colony which shows feeding polyp feeding polyp with the help of mouth tentacles collect food from the surrounding environment or from the surrounding water and divert it towards the mouth hence there is the need of food is uh, performed by this polyp hence they are called as gastrozoid gastrozoids are also called as feeding type of polyp here another zoid is the medusa or here the gonozoid attached here which having developing medusa bud and thus they forms uh, they perform the uh, function of reproduction hence they are also called as gonozoids means they reproduce the another individuals hence they are called as gonozoids or gonophores are present here and hence this is the gonozoid here another branch may be found which is called as presence of tentacles or tentaculozoids or they are also called as dactylozoids here single tentacle single tentacle here another colony another colony which shows numerous tentacles mouth and 
it also called as gastrozoid because it performs the function of feeding or nutrition from the surrounding medium here another there is the dactylozoid which shows numerous nematocyst this is the tentacle and nematocyst present on the tentacles they perform the fun function of protection hence they are called as dactylozoids another this is the this is the hydrobactinia and this one is the obelia here in the hydrotinia another branch or another uh, gonozoid is also attached which shows presence of gonophores and it shows the uh, function of reproduction this first diagram shows obelia second diagram shows the hydrotinia colony and thus there are number of individuals having attach all together to form the colony and thus there is the uh, work is distributed or there is division of labor to perform different duties this is found in modification of polyp second the modification of medusa which is concerned with sexual reproduction in which there is the presence of nectophores or nectocalyx which shows nematophores nematophores is nothing but the body of uh, cylindrate animals is formed with two layers outer ectoderm and inner gastroderm or endoderm this is the gastroderm or endoderm outer ectoderm this ectoderm which shows the glandular cells glandular sec cells secretes the gas gas filled with this balloon like structure and hence the nematophore or gas filled chamber may be found in this nectophore or modification of medusa and thus these nematophores helps for swimming purpose from one place to another inside the water they can move from one place to another place with the help of nematophores like the balloon they can be safely move with the help of this gas gland which is secreted by the glandular cells of ectoderm this is found in the colony velella here nematophores are present on the upper side or upper part of the body but ventrally there are also gastrozoids present with mouth and tentacles which helps for feeding or nutrition of this colony then gonophores are also present which perform the duty for reproduction and dactylozoids or the tentacles are also present on the posterior side they perform the duty of protection means here gastrozoids gonozoids dactylozoids and nematophores which helps for movement or they can move from one place to another with the help of this nematophores or gas glands which is secreted by glandular cells of epidermis these are called as nectophores or nectocalyx it is one of the modification of medusa second modification of medusa is the nematophore it is also a type of float which is present on anterior side of the colony posteriorly there is also dactylozoids dactylozoids means the tentacles are present and they uh, protect the colony here also there is the mouth and tentacles which perform the same function as the gastrozoid means they are the feeding polyp these are found in calicophoran colony then third phyllozoids or the nematocyst which is uh, having function as protection and here the gonophores that is the presence of gonads that is the dioecious animals cylindrate uh, which perform the reproduction or the uh, production of uh, gametes having convex 
anterior side or dorsal surface which is convex ventral concave surface with mouth and tentacles some of them are having gastrozoids with mouth and tentacles means feeding polyp some of them having larger dactylozoids some of them having smaller dactylozoids both are helpful for protection and the gonozoids for reproduction then the types of polymorphism next point from cylindrata is the uh, types of polymorphism there are three types monomorphic dimorphic trimorphic or uh, many uh, forms when they come together uh, more than 3 to 4 then they are also called as polymorphic forms monomorphic means it is denoted by example hydra and sea anemone only one polyp stage found hence it is called as monomorphic form dimorphic means more than one or two uh, forms may be found two polyp forms may be found example tubularia and campan campanelluria two types of zoids may be found these are gastrozoids that is medusae and nectophores also found means two forms if found in the zoids then they are called as dimorphic and trimorphic means the example obelia and plumilaria gastrozoid medusae and gonozoid gastrozoid for feeding medusae for uh, protection and uh, swimming purpose and gonozoids for gonozoids or blastocytes are for reproduction these are the different and if more than three to four then they are called as polymorphism means numerous individuals when they come together to form the colony for different functions that is division of labor like that of the honeybee there is also division of labor or caste system is present hence occurrence of numerous individuals for performing different duties is called as polymorphism or last point that is the polymorphism then we will see the functions or significance of the polymorphism there is division of labor or different duties performed by different individuals or number of individuals perform different duties some of them are called as feeding polyp or they are the gastrozoids which make the function of nutrition second the dactylozoids which make the function for protection third tentaculozoids having sensory cells for protection skeletozoids having spiny projection or chitin also for protection and the gonozoids uh, perform the duty of reproduction or they are the reproductive individuals these are the functions of polymorphism okay